Yeah, so what they're doing is basically they're saying that virtually all schools will be impacted by this closure. That's the message that they posted on the district's website. And they're also going to start by having their drivers come in a little earlier to begin their shifts for the day so that they can still get to their bus stops on time. Now, the district says that they will notify families by both phone and a letter if their children's pick up and drop off times will shift during the closure. I've reached out to district spokesperson uh, Tim Robinson to find out if any of the pick up or drop off locations would change or shift during the closure. And when I find that out, I will be sure to share that information with you. So just a quick recap for you here. They're going to uh, mail a letter home with kids and also call to let you know if there's any impact as to wh what times your kid would be picked up and dropped off after the closure begins. And then, uh, of course, they also will have the driver start a little earlier for their shifts. Back to you guys. All right, Tony, thanks. A lot of people preparing. Remember, we've got full co cl coverage of the closure on our website. Go to king5.com slash tunnel effect. We also have a Facebook group set up. Just search Seattle Tunnel Traffic.